relationships with these gentlemen went on until I ran away from home at 15. I remember a particular time, this gentleman, he, he called and he said that he didn't want to do business with my stepmother, he wanted to see me. And he'd bought some chocolates and he gave them to me and he said, they are love, they for you. And Rosemary was as nice as anything. Then when he left, she took the chocolates and said that I wasn't having them. They were hers and she sat down and she ate them all in front of me. I didn't want chocolates. This man was, he was nice. He, he tried to think of my feelings and tried not to hurt me. I was just trying to get somebody to love me. I'm not proud of what I've done. I suppose deep down, I don't believe my children will be proud of me. That's my one worst fear is that my children won't respect me. When my father was arrested, I was getting the children ready for school. And the telephone rang and I answered it and it was my stepmother, Rosemary. And she said to me that if I thought anything of my dad, then I'd keep my mouth shut. And I'd put the phone down and it was a matter of minutes. There was a knock at the door and there was a policewoman, Hazel Savage, was at the door with a police, policeman. She said that she came to see me because of a remark that was made to somebody from the younger children, saying, oh, we don't want to end up like Heather under the patio in the garden. And I said, well, yes, Dad had said on numerous occasions, you know, where do you think Heather is? In the garden, under the patio. And she said, well, there is a big possibility that we are going to be digging up the garden in the patio. And the following day, she came back and said that Dad had been charged with the disappearance of, of my sister. I said the seven bodies earlier, the behind, three from there, four from there. On the 24th of February, I was actually entertaining my daughter, my youngest daughter. It was her birthday. And I had, I say I must have about 15 school children in the house doing a party. And the teacher was there. And the telephone rang. I answered it, and then there was a policewoman on the phone. She said, oh, ask me, you know, is that Anna Marie? I said, yes. She said, well, I'm phoning to tell you that we've just found your sister's body in the garden. And it was really hard because I had children there, and I was totally shocked. I just dropped the telephone and I went into the bathroom and I, I, I can't believe, I can't have heard this, it's not, not true, it's not happening. And I carried on with the party and then when they went, I just sat there and I was absolutely dumbstruck with it all. I, I thought, and the fact, I think, that they telephoned me. It seemed so in insensitive. 
And what hurt the most was the fact that Heather had asked me if she could live with me. And I said no, because I was concerned that my stepmother and father would come and get her and, and she'd end up being hit. And I thought I was doing right. I was trying to protect her. But you never ever think that your family would you know, do anything like that. We were all, we grew up with being hit and towed off and verbally and physically abused. So it was, it was just normal. It was a normal thing for us. When it first all came out, people would nudge and stare and look at me. And people would look down or away and wouldn't speak to me. And they made me feel as if I had done something. And I remember somebody came up to me and said, oh, you're lucky to be alive. You're lucky you're here. What about all the other people? And I, I, I'm not lucky. I don't feel lucky. I feel really guilty. I feel ashamed about the fact that I'm here. But the thing is, people don't realise that when I was 15, I actually ran away from home. I did it in the middle of the night. From when I was eight up until then, there was so much that happened. And the last thing was the fact that I was pregnant off of my father. And I was so ill, I had to have some of my insides removed because it was an ectopic. And at the hospital, nobody said anything. Nobody inquired about how I'm a 15-year-old girl was pregnant. So I, I don't know what my father and my stepmother said, but I remember when I was in hospital, I woke up and I had a drip in my arm and metal clips below and I was so frightened and nobody talked to me and I was in hospital for a week on my own nobody came and visited me my one friend did from school and I, when I went home I was allowed to go home my stepmother she lost her temper quite frequently on sometimes just the slightest thing on this particular day, my stepmother kicked me in the stomach. I'd had only been home about a week. And I, had, I just hit the floor, the pain. And I ran out of the room and I ran upstairs. And I stayed up there all day. I couldn't come out. And then it was about four o'clock and my father came home from work. He came up and knocked on the door. And he told me to get out and get downstairs and to apologise to my stepmother for upsetting her. And I vowed from that day that, I'm sorry to say this, but I couldn't protect the children anymore. 